hey people this is veronica and you're welcome to my channel on today's video i'll be showing you how to cut a long straight fitted ankara dress with back slit and full lining if you would like to see how i did this please keep on watching here is a list of measurements you'll be needing for this project so this is my fabric i have my tape my scissors my chalk so and one other thing I'll be needing is my lining. This is the right side of the fabric. So we are going to fold in like this. The full dress is maybe up to maybe 70 something or 60 something. I've forgotten. That's the full length of the dress. But your Ankara fabric is not why um the what do they call it? The crosswise grain or is it the lengthwise grain but like straight like this i won't be able to cut this fabric because it's not up to so what i'm going to do i had to divide it into two that's from the shoulder to the waistline is one part then from the waistline to the hemline under is another part i hope you understand so now i want to cut the bottom part the full length of the bottom part is 42 inches that's from the waistline down to the hemline under is 42 inches so we are going to make sure what we have here the full length here is up to 42 it's actually about 45 so we're okay with that also we um, we're going to take into consideration the widest part like this and the widest part like this is my hip measurement my hip um, is about um, 33 so we're going to divide 33 by 4 33 by 4 divided by 4 so um it's about eight one quarter inch eight one quarter inch so now we're going to there's the full like the widest part across like this will be eight one eight one over four inch so now um i don't really bother about allowance like that it's not really my thing so let's just say we'll add one inch on both side so eight and half plus one inch is sorry eight one quarter plus one inch is nine one quarter inch so the widest part so we don't waste our fabric will be eight nine one quarter so you see i was even wasting it so we're going to start with the front we'll cut the front first and we'll use the front to cut the back so eight nine one quarter is the widest we need that is folded now and we're going to cut nine one quarter i'm just trying to make sure we don't waste fabric so i think this is okay nine one quarter and the full length is about 42 inches so what i would do i will add about one inch underneath so it's going to be 43 inches so i'll mark from the bottom 43 inches from the bottom 43 inches from the bottom 43 inches forty three inches from the bottom is around here. So this is what we are going to be working with. So we have to cross check again to make sure we have up to nine and a half or nine one quarter. So it's up to. Okay. So now we're going to go to the top part where we have the waist. The waistline is about 24. So 24 divided by four is four. But now we're going to add an extra one inch. That one inch will take care of our um, that. So instead of marking just six, 
we'll mark seven seven inches so we'll go down by eight inch which will show us where to input our hip line so this is your waistline and eight inch down eight inches down is the hip line so now our hip line is eight one over four so now we're going to connect these two together so now at the waist we want to mark our dart so my dart is seven divide seven by three and a half by two is three and a half so instead of marking three and a half i'm going to mark four i'll put an extra one half inch so this is where my dart will be so now i'm going to add half inch on top this half inch on top will be used to join this part that's the waistline of the bottom to the waistline of the one on top so we'll mark extend our dots so we have this now um at the bottom you have to determine how wide you want the bottom to be so first of all um, what you do is you mark off that extra one inch you already added at the bottom so i'm going to mark off that extra one inch away from the bottom remember i added an extra one inch it was supposed to be 42 but i added an extra inch at the bottom that's why we measured for three so i've marked that off already um i decided at the bottom i wanted it to be 24 going around so that's 24 we divided by 2 which is 12 by another 2 which is 6 so we measure 6 so now what we're supposed to do is to use our ruler to join this hip line straight to the bottom here add half inch seam allowance at the waistline and one inch seam allowance at the side seam and cut So I've uh, folded it in two. So to know how wide the circumference will be or how wide what you fold there should be, just know that for the the whole of the front piece, the total width is about um, nine one quarter. So now um, if you add one inch for the zipper allowance at the back should be about 10 one quarter so whatever you fold should not be smaller than 10 one quarter so um we're folded now the first thing i'm just going to go to this folded part here and measure out one inch off just straight down so this one inch will be our zipper allowance so we'll just measure one inch off So I've measured the one inch away so now I'm going to place the front piece on the on the um, what's, what's it called I'll place the front piece on this back piece so this folded edge should align with the one inch so the one inch is not exactly at the folded part but this extension that's where you should align with so now we're going to align and i'm going to pin because my table is not long enough i don't want it to move while i'm sewing so um you know the back and front piece are pinned together so we're going to match the that point where we notch the that point at the front we're going to match it with that of the back so that's okay 
so that when we want to sew we know where our that point is for what the back and front piece so now um this extension this one inch extension at the back we're going to slash it open slash it open to the end this is our zipper allowance so we're going to slash it totally to the end this is our zipper allowance so now we have cut the bottom that's the front and back piece but we're not done because we're going to cut our lining piece so now we're going to be cutting the top part um, which consists of the front and back bodies so what you're going to do is to fold into two as usual um, my shoulder to waistline length is about 14 and a half so we need 14 and a half if you add allowance like half inch at the top and at the bottom everything one inch so we need about 15 and a half so we just have to just always cross check before you start cutting i know that i have up to that so now the widest part will be my bust measurement and my bust measurement is about 30 and a half here yeah, i have so um we we'll divide 30 and a half by four that gives us about seven seven five over eight inch eight inch so the widest part should be like seven one over eight inch so even if you add one inch um allowance should be about eight five over eight inch so once you you check and make sure that um your fabric will be enough so that you don't waste and you also don't um fold fabric that is not wide enough so this will be okay so the first thing i'll do i'll go to the bottom and mark off my half inch for my allowance so this allowance will be used to join this top part to the bottom part at the waistline so you know at the other part too we added half inch which we used to join it to the top part so the first thing we'll do we we'll just mark off this half inch away from the bottom now since the the total length of the front part that's from the for, for the top part that's from the shoulder to the waistline is about 14 and a half so from you know we, we just marked off half inch now so from the top of this half inch will measure 14 and a half so this takes care of the total length of our um, our top so now my shoulder length is about 14 half of 14 is 7 then we go down by one inch so my shoulder to my bust line is about my shoulder to my bust line is about eight inch i'll measure that also eight inch you measure it from the shoulder so everything our reference point is our shoulder now so everything we're measuring we're moving from our shoulder so to the shoulder to the bust line is about seven so about eight inch so we we'll mark it so this is our bust line so our bust measurement is about like quarter of our bust measurement that's our bust measurement divided by four is about seven five over eight inch so we we'll mark it here so to get our chest line we we'll move by one inch so one inch on top of your bust line is our it's our what's it called it's our um chest line so now um at the shoulder point i'm going to measure about three about three inches 
and I'll connect that to this one inch we took down so now I'm going to cross check my shoulder measurement everything should be about seven inches so this is where my shoulder measurement is so um, to get our shoulder line we're going to go straight down so this is about seven so measure it straight down we divide it into two we're not talking about the boss point now it's the chest line we are at now so this is about six and a half six and a half into two is about um three one quarter so now i'm going to go in by about three quarter inch so now we're going to connect these points that these are the shoulder line this new three quarter inch to our chest line so that is what i have so now i'm going to cross check to make sure it will take care of my armhole and yes it's perfect so this is the the um what's it called the armhole of the front so now my hip my waist divided by four is six you add one inch just like the back the bottom part so it will be about seven so we'll mark the seven here and we'll connect this seven from this chest line and bust point we'll connect that to the waist so now we have formed uh, our front bodies so now we're going to measure mark our that point which is three and a half if we add half to it is four so we'll mark it four inch so now i want to measure the total of my it helps me know that how uh, my um, that length so from my boss normally i used to take it down by one inch but i just found out that it doesn't really fit me when i wear my clothes so there used to be a little excess at the boss point so now from my boss point to my waist is about seven so when i'm sewing i know that my that length will be about seven a wide neck but it will be round not totally round but a little round so that's what i'll be doing now this is about four inches so something like this now i'll be adding half inch seam allowance at the neckline shoulder and armhole and one inch allowance at the side seam and cut this is it so this is our front bodies now we're going to notch the dart line that point sorry i will not change that point like this so that's okay so we're going to cut the back piece just like the bottom piece the the back piece is a replica of the back piece is the replica of the front piece but the only difference is that it has um the zipper allowance so like before like i did in the bottom piece i'm going to mark off one inch my zipper allowance is usually one inch but it depends on you everybody's different usually one inch so i'm going to mark off one inch mark it off first that's folded then i'll put this folded edge to the one inch and inch extension not at the folded part but the extension itself so i'll just align them together and i can cut that's all remember to slash the zipper allowance open and also match the notches of the front bodies with that of the back bodies i've gone ahead to draft and cut a basic sleeve block on paper i'll be slashing and spreading on my fabric so now i'm going to just do another rough i'm just going to divide this into some parts like so so i've divided into one two three four five five pieces 
and I'm going to label them so I don't make mistakes one two three four and five so I'm going to be spreading now I'm um, slashing now I've slashed the sleeve block and I'll be spreading directly on my fabric but you can do yours on paper first if you are not so sure. This is something I've been doing for a very long time so I'm used to it. And you can spread as you desire. You can spread by 4 inches or more, 3 inches, 2 inches and you can play around with um, this extra inches you are adding this extra fullness okay you can decide how do you want to spread it on your sleeve cap and on the hemline of your sleeve it depends on you so after um, doing this you add your allowance and you cut so we have the two sleeves i'm actually going to make cuffs but i will not be making them now i'll be waiting till when i'm sewing my sleeves so what we're going to do now is to cut the lining pieces now we're going to be cutting the lining pieces the lining pieces are an exact replica of the main fabric the only difference is in the skirt pieces that's the back and front skirt lining will be cut shorter than that of the main fabric so you can determine by how many inches you want it to be shorter do you want it to be shorter by one inch 1.5 inch or two inches it's your choice um, this is just to ensure that the hemline will look very neat and clean so i'm done cutting i was able to manage my lining so these are my two sleeves and the sleeves with the lining i've got the sleeves with the lining this is my back and front bodies with lining also um this is my front and back skirt pieces also with lining so everything is going to be lined uh i've not cut the cuff for the wrist but i will cutting it um while i'm doing this sleeve i'll cut it while i'm doing this sleeve. so i'll show you how i also do that so um on my next video i'm going to be showing you how to sew and join all these pieces and how to turn your um to line your fabric and everything will be clean without any um rough edges or raw edges so i will see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give my videos a thumbs up that's to like them don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and share my videos i'll see you in my next video